everyone, it's Pastor Sarah here uh, for another week of On the Road. For the last two weeks, we've been talking about our questions about faith, our questions about the Bible. Uh, last week, we talked about why the Bible, what's so important about the Bible, and what's so important about um, how we connect to God. Today, our question is, uh, where do dinosaurs fit in the timeline? And uh, this question comes out of the idea that the Bible and uh, science don't really fit together. And it's really a false idea. The idea that what we understand in the natural world, what we understand with science, uh, is contrary to God. And I know there are a lot of people that disagree with me on that. But nothing in the Bible tells us, or it forces us to disbelieve what we see in the world. The Bible tells us the story of who God is, um, but it's not a textbook. And we've talked about that quite a bit, these, um, especially, especially Genesis, the very beginning, this, the stories of, of who we are to God. You know, uh, these stories were passed down from generation to generation around the campfire, around uh, the community gathering points and uh, of course, from generation to generation, they change from time to time. But also, uh, we know that nobody was sitting there, you know, writing down, okay, so this is how this happened on this day exactly. But to tell the story in a way, using the days of the week and using this um, time, uh, concept of time, which we were, we as humanity are so enmeshed in, of course is a great way to help us to understand who God is in our own way. God is so much bigger than we are, and God is so much bigger than we can ever understand, and that includes time and um, what that means. And so the idea that uh, just because dinosaurs aren't mentioned in the Bible doesn't mean they're, uh, they don't exist or, or whatever, or... Uh, some of my favorite cartoons, of course, are the, the dinosaurs looking over at, at the um, Noah's Ark going, oh, is this the day that that happened? And, you know, the, the good old jokes about that. But um, we know from the, the sto or archaeological record that humanity and, and dinosaurs didn't really exist at the same time. So what we have uh, is an understanding that God created and how exactly God created, we don't know. But what that has to do with our faith is an important choice we have to make. If our faith hinges on the idea that God created exactly how is recorded in Genesis, with this sweep of the hand and that bit of breath and this 24-hour time period, then... Um, that's a different understanding of the Bible than I'm going to ever attest to and that many of us ever attest to that, you know, the, the Bible is not the word-for-word -word, uh, explicit statement of God. The Bible is our stories about God. They're inspired by God. The, the Bible is so much more than just words. And the stories can be more because they're not exact. And to me, that uh, really opens us up to understanding how we interact with the world and how the Bible interacts with the world and how our faith interacts with the world. Um, and that science and archaeology and history and all of these things, they can tell us more about God. Our God is a God who creates and continues to create and continues to create. And we see that change is important. We see that life is important, that life wins out even when our world uh, is struggling. And that, that's an important understanding of who God is. And we see that in the story of creation. So thank you for the question. Uh, where are the dinosaurs at in the Bible? Well, they're not exactly in the Bible, but they're definitely there in creation. And so we work hand in hand with what's around us.
I hope uh, we got a couple of questions and I hope everything is going where? well wherever you are. If you've got more questions, go ahead and leave a comment. Have a good day.